Well, I don't know about you, but it is my favorite day of the week. I actually love Mondays. Uh, and that's a whole nother conversation. But around here, I especially love Mondays. And I know my listeners do too, because it is time for a brand new mantra. A mantra is an empowering statement that's going to help you focus your thoughts, refocus your brain, take back control of your thoughts, and therefore take back control of your life. And today is one that I use all the time. Already this morning, I've assigned this same mantra to three, three of my coaching clients. So make sure you hang around. You'll want to hear what it is. Well, hey there, I am Jennifer Roskamp, a certified life coach and homeschool mom of nine who is passionate about helping women just like you embrace the here and now while also being focused on creating the life you actually want. As a midlife mom in her 40s, about to be a mom in my 50s, I've realized that it's so easy to lose yourself in caring for your family, your home, and all the things. Until one day you realize you're not even sure who you are anymore or what you even want in life. So on this podcast, we're going to work on managing yourself well so that you can manage all of the other things and people well too. So let's dive in to what it means to manage your home, your time, your family, and yourself well. This is the Intentional Midlife Mom Podcast. So this is a mantra that I have shared in the context of a different podcast here and there because it's always one that I include in various places. But I thought as I handed this mantra out to three different coaching clients this morning already, I thought, you know what? This mantra needs an episode all its own. It needs a Monday mantra episode all of its own. So here is the mantra for now. And it's more of a ending that you're going to add on to a whole lot of things that you're going to say for now. So often our brain, well, our brains do think in black and white. And so our brains are very much pass fail. You did it or you didn't. You are a winner or you are a loser. It is black and white. And so often life does not give us the opportunity to be black and white. So for now, you're probably going to tack this on to an ending, a time where you are feeling frustrated with yourself. You're beating yourself up about something because it didn't go the way that you thought it would go, or you didn't do something that you had wanted to do, planned on doing, thought you would do, realized you should have done. And so this is when you're going to tack on the for now. Let me give you a couple of, a couple of examples. So uh, you had plans on Sunday to get all of your meal prep done for the week coming up and to really get all set for meals. But instead, you needed to spend some time with your husband and you had some other tasks that really needed to get done, even if it was something very small, or maybe you just took the day to go have fun with your family. And so then after the dust settles and you start reminding yourself, oh, you didn't get that meal prep done. And as you start to realize, oh, I didn't get that meal prep done, you say, for now. I didn't get it done for now. That means you could do it again later. That means that nothing needs to be done. There are very few things that really urgently need to be done at a specific time. Even when they're on our list or our daily task list or our to-do list for the day, we feel like that means they're set in stone and life usually doesn't follow our plans. And so when we're frustrated with ourselves, when we're feeling guilty about how we did or didn't spend our time, we're feeling guilty about how we did or didn't get things done, what we did or didn't do for now. Here's a couple other examples. You know what? That's just the way it went for now. That's the way it is for now. I'm struggling with this for now. I can't figure this out for now. For right now, this has to be a no. For right now, this is the way it is. This is the way it is for now. There's so many opportunities to tack on a for now that helps you stop beating yourself up. And what happens when you beat yourself up is we get in this downward spiral and it's so hard for us to pull ourselves out of it. There are very few things that are a certainty and have a time expiration. 
There are so many situations in which you did or do or don't do something that you can say, I didn't do it for now. I didn't get it done for now. It's not done for now. Whatever it might be, it's, it always can be something that you can come back to 99% of the time. So for now, when you find yourself beating yourself up, frustrated with yourself, frustrated with your circumstances, frustrated with your long to-do list, frustrated with the way things didn't follow the plan, remember, for now, for now, just make it be your favorite phrase, for now. So that's your mantra for today. Make it an amazing week. Thank you.